All right, ladies and gentlemen of the YouTube citizens, y'all know who this is. This is your boy True Fun, and today's day is Thursday, July the 16th. And we all know what the big news is involving Pokemon Go as I just restarted the game. And, and that is this. The Great Ghastly ticket is now available for just $1, even though I can't get it because every time I click on it, I get a right screen. Do anybody have an issue with that or that's just me but no i'm just joking no i'm not joking about that little issue issue that's still going on right now but no i was talking about the big news that's going on part of my girl and that is this we can now invite our friends to rage yes that feature is now available in the game and here's all that we know like basically here how it works i'm gonna get this out the way because it's pretty much simple when you are hosting a raid meaning you are either at your house or you're just walking along, practicing social distancing, or driving along, wherever the case may be, and you spot the raid, and you're gonna start a lobby, you can invite five of your friends. So how this works is this, you join in the lobby, and when you join in, by the way, when you join the lobby, you're not racing the raid ticket anymore, thank goodness. You should see a new button on the same line as the number of people who are currently in your lobby. And it will be a green button with a plus sign inside of it. You push that button and boom, there you go. You can invite your people based off and you can sort it. You can look them up by name and things of that nature. I highly suggest you sort it by who's online. So remember they added the, um, the feature where you can change your status to online or offline or whatever the case may be. If it's online, it's easier for people to, uh, to find you. So there's that. We're going to get more on that later. So. And that's how you invite people to raise. Now, in terms of how you accept the invite, it's pretty simple as well. Now, on the lower right corner of your screen, that's your nearby list. At some point, it may change colors. The background of that nearby list, wherever, may change colors from a transparent right to a definite orange brownish color. Click on that, go to raise, and you will see an invite from one of your friends to do a raid. Doesn't matter what part of the world they're in. Like some people have been doing raids who live in the United States. They've been doing raids um, from people who live in China, Australia, you, and you get the point. So yeah, you can raid with your friends from all around the world, and that's good. Now there are some issues. So the one issue I personally experience is when I join somebody else's raid, when I get the invite, and I join somebody else's raid, and the raid started, I can't attack. I can't do a quick attack. Now if I sit there long enough, my meter will fill up because I'm out of, what is it? Charge attack that the Ray Boss is using on me, and assuming I survive it, my uh, charge meter will go up, and I can use the charge move, that, but that's the only thing I can do. I cannot use a quick attack move, I cannot dodge or anything, but I do get credit once we beat the Ray Boss, and I use Pokemon that have it where all of them haven't fainted either, so there's that as well. Now in terms of, we'll get to that in a second, and then, Again, I get credit for it, and then I capture the raid boss. Now, let's talk about that. What if you got, wherever you faint? Now, they're gonna bring you back to whatever you are, your character is currently at right now. Now, how you get back into the lobby, again, you click on the nearby thing, and you're gonna look for the raid that you were just invited to, and you just jump back in. You know, you switch your Pokemon up, or you go with recommend and you jump back in. I haven't done that yet, but pretty much that's how it works based on some of the information I gathered. That's pretty much how it works. I'm constantly looking at my phone to see if I get another invite. And so far the answer is no. I got one so far before I started recording. Shout out to Trainer Spooky for that. Got a 93% IV, where to boost to kill him. But so far, no other invites sent my way. So, that's pretty much everything you need to know about the remote raid invite feature. Tons of how it works and, you know, things of that nature. Now, we're gonna talk about a few other things. So like I said, there are some bugs with it. So again, I just named one of them. Now, this bug right here, it's, technically it is a bug, but it's a useful bug. And this happened to me the first day. Here's what happened. There's a gym near my house, and I invited a number of people to do that raid, like Lando Alpha, Pope Dave, and a few others. Some people got in that raid and did it. Other people didn't get the invite. So I purposely backed out so I can try and invite these people again. However, Lando Alpha stayed in and completed the raid and got credit for it and he was able to catch the Pokemon. So I'm like, 
I could do that for the duration of the time the raid boss is up. So picture this, I have a Kirim near me. I'm like, yo, who wants to do this Kirim? I need five people to do this Kirim real quick. I invite five people. And I'm gonna let them know, right before the timer runs out, I'm going to back out. But you five can take it on yourselves. And y'all have fun with that. And they stay in there, and they do the raid boss, and then I be like, yo, I'm about to invite another group of five. And they join, and then I'm like, yo, I'm about to back out, peace. And then I invite another group of five. Again, that is a bug. I'm not sure you're supposed to do that or not, but that is pretty good, if I do say so myself. Pretty interesting, if I do say so myself. So depending on what the raid boss is, I won't do that for a tier five, because I want to make sure that there's people here for when it's time for me to actually do this, I can actually do it. But for like a tier three, or tier one where you can get a shiny from it, yeah, I can see myself doing that. I have no problem doing that, assuming I have the time and the patience to do all that. But yeah, that's an interesting bug right there, but a useful bug nevertheless. So now another bug, a possible bug is like, when you do raids with your friends, that don't count towards your friendship status. So like if you're ultra friends and y'all did a remote raid together, whatever the case may be, it don't build up towards best friends. That's what I heard. I want to say I've seen it firsthand, but I wasn't really paying attention to it like that. So if you guys can confirm that, please say so in the comment section of this video below. So there's that. Now, there were some people saying, oh, I didn't get the gym badge, whatever the case may be. No, I'm going to have to disagree with you on that one. I don't know about working the gym badge up for bronze to silver. Well, actually, you only start off at bronze. You just start off with a gym badge, and then you work it up to get a bronze, and then to silver and go. I don't know about that type of pro progression, but in terms of like collecting gym badges because you interacted with that gym, that does work. Shout out to Sparky Joy. I invited her to a raid on Wednesday near my house. She did the raid. She got credit for it. Shouted me out in her live stream and on Twitter. And she actually showed the badge of my gym. Like she actually showed it on the live stream. So you do get the badge, but in terms of building it up, I don't know about that one. I don't know about that one. So if you did, which this is a weird question. If you done like 10, 15 gyms, I mean battle, way battles at the exact same gym that you were invited to, if that count towards your uh, badge progression, Again, let me know in the comment section below. I don't know who have done something like that to the point where they worked their way up to getting a bronze badge at that gym or a silver, whatever the case may be. But if you have, and it does need work, again, say so in the comment section below. Now, with all that said, let's talk about etiquette. So, this is all cool and all as I got a Zubat at my house. Let me see if I can get the Zubat and see if it's shiny. But we need to talk about etiquette. So... The feature is cool as this Zubat is not shiny. The features are cool and all, but you can easily lose a raid pass without communication. That ha actually happened to me first day. But again, I'm not tripping about it this time. But yeah, that could happen. So etiquette must be placed. So with that said, the first thing you should do, real talk, if you're trying to be invited to raids, is make sure that your status is online. Your status should be online at all times. You can you should not be on social media. I don't care what platform it is. Say, yo, invite me to a raid, and your online status is offline. That joint should be online. Now, yeah, here's another glitch. Yes, the on the sorting does not exactly work all the way and work all the time, or whatever the case may be. But still, that online status should be on at all times. It should be on at all times. So. That's the first thing. The second thing, and that's, you know, for somebody who is being invited. The second thing that you should follow if you want to be invited is really, uh, it, it, you may have to change that nickname. You may have to change that nickname. It's all about letting the inviter know that you as the invitee, what your name is in the game. So, for example, as you all know, my name is True Inferno. But let's say I got a name on the game called Judge Shadow. And the inviter is looking for me, the invitee is looking for my name. They may type in True Inferno, and I'm like, no, that's not my name in the game. My name is Judge Shadow, J-U-D. And that, that's wasting time. So you may have to either let, like, you may have to change your name to match whatever online name you have. So if your name is True Inferno on Twitter, 
on YouTube, on Twitch, on Discord. That should be your name in Pokemon Go to make things easier for people to find you as quickly as possible. Because in his in this something they should change the realm. You got 200 seconds to invite five people to set up your party, heal if necessary, and all that cheese. And watch the lobby in case somebody didn't get in or whatever the case may be. You got 200 seconds to do all that. And that's real talk. That's not a lot of time. So make it easier for the inviter and either change your name to match whatever your online name is. So again, Twitter, Twitch, Instagram, Discord, YouTube, whatever. Your Pokemon Go name should be the same as those. Or, which brings me to step three, communicate. Communicate online. So again, Twitter. Instagram, Facebook, Discord, Twitch, YouTube, I guess TikTok, assuming they didn't shut that down yet. Whatever. Communicate with people, with the inviter. You as the invitee should communicate with the inviter saying, yo, I'm ready. Here's my in-game name. My status is on. It's online. Let's go. So keep that in mind as well. Oh, step four, not, not step four, but number four actually. Make sure you have remote raid passes. So Niantic failed to put in the option to buy remote raid passes while you're in the lobby, which means you have to leave the lobby, go into the shop, buy remote ma raid, well, well, if you're in the lobby, then you already got, I mean, that was the point, but you get what I'm trying to say. If you got the invite and your character trans, you know, teleport all the way to the gym, but you can't join because you don't have remote raid passes, now you gotta teleport back to where you're at, go into the shop, get the remote raid pass, but wait a minute, you may not have enough room to buy stuff from the shop, which is another thing. Clear room in your storage, that's number five. Clear room in your storage, make sure there's room in your storage before you even start on, you know, doing any type of raids. So once you have room in your storage, then before you start accepting any raid invites or tell people, yo, I'm ready to do raids, or and once you're done doing a raid, and you're in like a breaking period or whatever, go into the shop, buy the remote raid pass, then you can say, okay, I'm ready, check the invite, accept the invite, teleport to wherever the gym is, and hop in the lobby. It's that simple. You know, you shouldn't be, you know, because remember, this person is inviting people from all around the world, and it, you know, you can't communicate with everybody within 200 seconds. So, Make sure you have all of this stuff down packed and checked off before you as the invitee start raiding. Otherwise, you're gonna be a major pain in everybody's carcasses and people won't wanna raid with you. So that's some of the rules that you as the invitee should follow. Now let's talk to you, the inviter. So you are invited people, I'm talking to you now. First thing you should do, heal your Pokemon. Your Pokemon should be healed, your Pokemon should be revived before you even hop in the lobby. Before you hop in the lobby, make sure your Pokemon are here. Second thing you should do, make sure you have a party. A party, not, not just one party, really two, maybe three parties before you invite people to do these raids. Because again, you should not have to jump open the lobby and say, oh, okay, I'm gonna invite you guys real quick. Oh, wait, I gotta pick my Pokemon. So they can do this up. Oh, I gotta heal them and move them around and stuff. Then with like 50 seconds left, you're gonna invite other people? No, because they got to see the invite. They got to accept the invite. And hopefully, you, you better hope that the invitee follow my steps, follow my advice and have their crap together as well. Cause if they don't, they're screwed as well. And they could screw up the entire party. So as the inviter, make sure that you get your stuff in check. So again, heal your Pokemon, revive them, and set up your parties, not party, parties. Because like, kill him here, he can know Blizzard, he can know Dragon Claw, he can know whatever. You better have a party that is suited for each charge move kill him have. And it, it, it's somewhat like, Obvious based on the recommended that they recommend for you, or if you trust the recommended, then you're straight on that part. Make sure your Pokemon heal before you start the lobby. Now, with that said, here's the third thing you should do. Once you like communicate, really communicate. Let them know, yo, I got a raid here. Who's wanna jump in? And when you get five people saying me, 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 let them know, yo, 
I'm about to start the lobby right now. Like, no, actually ask them, are they ready? And if all of them say they're ready, then let them know. I'm starting the lobby right now. Invites are coming very shortly. And then, there you go. So communicate, again, social media with the Twitch, Twitter. You know, I'm not going to repeat all that. But you get the point. Communicate through social media. Now, let's get to number four. The first thing you should do when you start a lobby is this. You should invite your five friends. So I don't care if you got to set up your party. I don't care if you got to heal up your Pokemon, whatever the case may be. I don't care if you got to put on starters. I don't, really, you should do that before you started the lobby, by the way. If you're doing raid hour, you should have put that starters on first before you jump into the lobby or start the lobby. Starters, Lucky Egg, not starters, Start Peace, Lucky Egg. You get the point. You should put all that stuff on before you jump in the lobby, before you start the lobby. We're going to talk about the difference between starting a lobby and jumping into a lobby in a second. But either way, the first thing you should do as soon as you enter the lobby, invite your friends. You should invite your friends. Your joint should be sorted on whoever is like online, the status online. It should be sorted to that first. Make and Again, if the invitee follow the invites and have their online status on... You should be able to find them near the top of the list. That's simple. Get the invites out the way within the first 30 seconds. It's that simple. It's really, really that simple. Now, here's the thing about you as starting the lobby and you as joining the lobby as the inviter. Starting the lobby, there's no excuse. Like when you start the lobby, wait, did I say 200 seconds? I mean 120 seconds. So you have two minutes. You have two minutes to do all this stuff. So you as the lobby starter, the first person in the lobby, you have the full two minutes to invite everybody who you want to invite and set up your Pokemon and heal them and bury, you know, use the star peas and whatever. But if you're joining a, uh, a raid that somebody else started already or a lobby that somebody started already, and let's say there's like 50 seconds left, you may get a chance to invite three people. So for example, this, this happened to me this past Wednesday. Legendary Raid Hour. I was out and about. So I'm raiding with, you know, some of the people who were on my friends list that were watching the live stream. And at the same time, I was raiding with people in real life. Now, luckily for me, since people were following me, since I'm a ball son of the play. But yeah, since people were following me, the majority of the time, I was the one who started the lobby. It was either me or this one guy that I know. And normally when he starts the lobby, I'm right there. So it all worked out for me. But that may not be the case for you. So let's say you join the lobby, right? There's like 50 seconds left. You better get them invites in quickly as possible. And the people who you are inviting, they better be on standby. They better be on standby and be looking. So keep that in mind as well. Because like they're going to cut it off. Like whether you have a four or five people invited or not. They, like once they get to the 20 second mark, they're going to cut it off. You can't invite anybody past that 20 second mark. So real talk. Yeah, once you get to the 50 second mark, you better hurry up. But once you get to the 40 second mark, don't even bother. Don't even bother trying to invite people. Unless the people around you, you and the people around you are short and you tell them to back out. Let me start the lobby because I want to invite people. So yeah, you're going to have to step out. You're going to have to step up and say, yo, I'm starting the uh, lobby because I've got people to invite. If you have people to invite, let me know. And one of us can start it, but all of us have to be ready so we can invite our people ASAP. And yeah, you're going to have to talk to the people around you as well because raid hour, you know, depending on where you are, there could be a bunch of people around you and one person can have like five accounts. I, I'm this, I've seen it happen. One person could have like five accounts and they want all five of their accounts in or whatever the case may be. You're gonna, you may have to organize with your group party and say, yo, I'm going to be inviting people through the remote way online system whatever the case blah 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 if we have 27 accounts here that's not going to cut it we're going to have to split into two groups so you know you may have to step like don't like be right next to them because i know about the whole core event and stuff like that but yeah you may have to yell that out let people know in advance yo i'm trying to invite people remotely and things of that nature so keep all of that in mind we need remote rain etiquette and i just gave you a bunch as the inviter and the invitee. And if you have any more raid, remote raid etiquettes that you'd like to share, leave them in the comment section below that I didn't name, of course. Leave them in the comment section below. So yeah, we gotta get this right. Even though there are some glitches and bugs with this, this is very cool. 
This is the best thing to hit Pokemon Go for, I can't think of how long. But this is really exciting. I'm glad that it's here, but we got to get this right. We got to establish some remote raid etiquette and hopefully I'm the guy who just provided them to you. Now, just a quick reminder, this past Monday's video, I released details about a giveaway where you could win GoFest tickets. On the YouTube side, there will be three winners. So all you do is go to Monday's video, one, subscribe, and then leave, go to Monday's video, and then leave a comment in that video with your Twitter name or your Instagram name. So you have until Saturday, 11.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to do this, and don't create multiple accounts up on YouTube, on Twitter, or Instagram, anything like that, don't do that. So, there you go. And then there's more details in the comment section from me that is pinned. So I can't think of all on the top of my head, but yeah. YouTube side, three winners. The winners will be announced on Sunday's live stream on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash two underscore and fun out, as you see right there. So yeah, that will be doing the Gaston Community Day event from 11 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Eastern Time, that's how long I'll be live. I know the event ends at five. But I'll be live until 5.30 because, you know, I got to evolve these Pokemon. So that's the three winners on the YouTube side. That's how you will be selected as a winner. If you are one of the three, can we go to some website where it will pick a comment from that video out of random. And boom, there you go. And then once you are selected as a winner, I will hit you up in the DMs, Twitter, Instagram on Monday. And you have, or really that Sunday night. And you have until the end of Monday to respond to me. Otherwise, I'm picking more winners for next Wednesday's video. Now, on the Twitch side, I will be giving away three winners. You have to be a follower. You have to show up to that live stream, twitch.tv slash true underscore inferno. And Nightbot will select three winners. That's it. So, there you go. And you can't, like, you can't win on both YouTube and Twitch, Twitter and Twitch side, rather. You can't do that. You can't win twice, so don't try it. But yeah, I'm going to call it a wrap. So, with all that said, y'all know who this is. This is boy, New Jack Ass aka the new Stephen A. Smith, saying peace out, y'all, and I'll see y'all next time. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, <man. laughs> After you subscribe to the channel, make sure you click the bell icon so you never miss a new video or a live stream ever again. Thanks, guys. Lewis the trainer, articulating paint with my tongue. I done things that people said I can't. Now they rank them with the elite, but it's for the people, and victory is part of defeat. Cause when you get back on your feet, then you try again. Learn from mistakes, show them that I got what it takes, and I'm dying to win. Okay. I'm ahead and move away.